For those of you who know me, you know that I like to write, and I especially like to write blogs. But lately, I just don't feel like writing. So I thought I'd just uh, continue blogging, but this time I would do a vlog with uh, the latest in my opinion. To begin, yes, you noticed it. I did it. I cut my hair. I like it. I, I just feel more me in short hair and it's so much easier to take care of except the last few days because it's a new haircut so I spent hours and hours in the bathroom obsessing and trying to get everything right. But the point is, eventually it's going to take very little time to get ready. Hi. Hi, 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 it's hot. Hi, 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 it's hot. It's hot. Oh, oh, it's hot. Oh, no, 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 no. So anyway, today's topic, the plunger. The toilet plunger. This morning, I woke up and I went to the bathroom to do my business and the toilet clock. How come every time the toilet stops up, it's when you took a dump? And then the water rises and rises, and the last thing you want to do is slosh anything around. But then, in order to unstop the commode, you have to insert a plunger and make sure that nothing moves. So there I am going very, very slow. And I flush. Nothing happens. So I try again a little harder and I flush. With each increasing try, momentum just builds until you're just mad at the toilet. You're like, please, flush, go down, I can't live with this. Like the plunger turns inside out, kind of like an inside out umbrella. So then you gotta figure out ways to turn it back around without having stuff splash back at you. Here's an invention I wish someone would make. Why don't they make a stand for the plungers? Are you mad? You want the phone? Call someone. My daughter likes to call people on the phone. The other day she called my house from the cell phone and I couldn't figure out who it was until I found her in a corner playing with the phone. Oh, no, sweetie. Oh, I love her. Anyway, so I wish someone would come up with an invention for a plunger stand. Because what are you supposed to do after you plunge the toilet? So what I find myself doing is, if I had a successful plunging experience and the toilet is now free of stoppage, I insert the plunger and flush about five times. After I've washed it a few times in the blue water, then I just kind of put it down. But it really creeps me out trying to figure out what to do with this used plunger that has to be put somewhere. What do you guys do? So that's my rant of the day or the week or whatever. I'll get back to writing eventually, but hopefully this is going to be a lot less work. Uh